What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome. And today I want to show you guys my Viper MIG 180. Now this is more of a hobbyist welding setup that uh, is still obviously got the gas bottle. So I'm really excited about it just because it's so affordable and so easy for anybody to get. Let's take a closer look at it. a couple of the, the things that were the most important to me when I was picking out a welder. The biggest one is that it was able to use shielding gas. Obviously this one has got an argon CO2 mixture. I'm running 7525 which is pretty standard. Uh, I just went down to the welding store asked them what they recommended because uh, I did come from a flux core welder to this and don't know a whole lot about picking my own gas so they helped me out provided the bottle and uh, away I went. This is one of the cheapest welders that I was able to find right around 575 that still had 120 and 220 capability. I can plug this in straight to the wall or I can wire up a new plug and I've got a much better more powerful welding setup. Now that's why I got this. I need to have better heat penetration that way I can weld tube steel for the upcoming CNC plasma. So far, I've been really impressed with this. It's a really great hobbyist welding setup that I can recommend to just about anybody. Now, there are a couple of things that were really cool about this that weren't really required for me. One of the big ones was the stick welding capability. It comes with a lead and all the instructions that you need so that you can set up for stick welding. This gives you a little bit more, uh, in my opinion anyway, a little bit more uh, material selection if you want to do stainless or something like that then all you have to do is buy the right sticks you can also weld in a pretty dirty environment and it works great now this whole setup that I've got shown here is available through Amazon I got the welding cart through Amazon I did make a couple of modifications which you guys can see here uh, I was playing with the settings I thought it was going to be a really great project just to kind of learn more about how to set up my welder so I spaced the bottle back a little bit further I moved the uh, wheels out a little bit wider and I also added a hook for the helmet. Now the helmet is a Jackson helmet. Uh, I really like the stars and, uh, Scars and Stars uh, theme that it's got. Uh, it's pretty patriotic and it's got a grind mode and a weld, weld mode. It's got solar sensor with battery backup, uh, auto darkening. I mean the, it's frankly it's an awesome helmet. I really like it. It's very adjustable, fits my head great. And I've got a pretty big head, so uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the helmet. The welder, uh, obviously, has been excellent. The one downfall to the welder is that, um, and honestly, the downfall is also kind of one of the positives of it. It's kind of an all-in-one setup. So you get everything that you need to get going. You don't have to buy a regulator or a flow meter, whichever one uh, you would want to go with. This comes with a flow meter the gauge on the flow meter for me does leak. Now, it, it doesn't leak much, so all I was doing was shutting off the gas in between setups, and I didn't have much leak out. But it's one of those things that if you want to get serious about welding, you're probably going to end up replacing anyway. So for now, I'm probably just going to replace the gauge or just buy a new flow meter and uh, call it good. So yeah, it's a downfall, but at the same time, it's one of those things that you really probably don't need to worry about with a simple hobbyist welding setup. This is not professional grade. Now that doesn't mean that you can't do some professional work with it, but for me it was mostly about getting something that was very usable but still affordable. This whole setup coming from Amazon, you get it all in two days. Uh, all you have to do is go down to the welding store and get a bottle because you can't really ship a bottle, especially not with gas in it. So. That's the, the one thing about a MIG setup, but this is capable of doing flux core. So, as long as you get it set up, you're good to go. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up uh, this simple hobbyist welding setup, I am going to go ahead and link everything down below. Uh, it, when you go to Amazon to get the welder, it's going to be linked to a guy called Paul Gamble through Gamble's Garage. 
Uh, he's a third-party seller on Amazon and helped me out a ton when I was picking out my setup. You guys can also follow him here uh, on Instagram and see some of the projects he's working on and also you can ask him questions right there and he can help you out. He uh, was instrumental in picking out this setup for me and uh, he can definitely help you guys out as well. So make sure that you do follow him on Instagram and make sure that you follow me at Engineering Awesome. Uh, I've also got a website, engineeringawesome.com, where I am documenting the, uh, the whole process of building the CNC plasma table that I bought this hobbyist welding setup specifically for. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informational, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions on this setup, make sure that you leave me a comment down below. If you're interested in seeing more on this welding setup or the CNC plasma table I'm building with it, make sure that you guys subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.